Hey, so what's going on there guys? So, I think I bring you guys this video to explain to you guys, uh, you know, some of the pros and cons of working in the construction field. Because I've gotten a couple of emails from you guys, you know, because you guys have seen my uh, videos on the construction field, me working in it. And you guys have asked me, can we, I do a video uh, about the pros and cons uh, for, about the uh, construction field. And so today, I'm going to be explaining that. So let's start off with the cons. So con number one uh, is working in the elements. Now, if you are the type of person where you just can't handle the cold or the heat, the construction field is not good for you uh, to fit in, you know, to go and do. You, you're going to be outside um, on miserable days where it's cloudy and, and dark, um, when it's cold, and also when it's very, very hot. Me, pre preferably, I actually like to... Uh, working 95 or 100 degree weather. I don't mind that. I'd rather take that over the cold, but that's just me. Um, and um, yeah, so the temperature and the elements dealing with that is definitely a con for some people. Uh, it's actually a con with me. Right now it's uh, December, so actually the end of December, and um, it's pretty cold out. But today's actually fairly warm, which is really weird actually. Um, but I'll take it, so yeah. So the next con, this might pertain to only a few people here. Uh, but getting dirty now you got to be willing to get dirty because you're on the ground It depends on what you're doing in the construction field most majority of contractors and people that work in the construction field such as res residential and, co and commercial we do both um, uh, You know they, they tend to get dirty and uh, You got to be willing to be able to get dirty be uncomfortable to getting on the ground getting dirt on your face and mud and uh, just working with your hands and just not fearing, you know, getting dirty. Um, if you do and you like to, if you don't like that and you like to be clean and uh, kind of civilized in a sense, I don't know how to put it, um, then the construction field is definitely not for you. It can be a con for most people. For myself, uh, I don't mind getting dirty. Uh, it doesn't bother me. I mean, clean, I clean myself right off anyways. And, uh, you know, I, I, it just doesn't bother me. But the, it's, the, I just figured I'd mention that because it can be a con for some other people. So uh, that's con number two as well. So that's it pretty much for the cons. I mean, that's all I can really think of besides, I mean, that's it. <laughs> I mean, literally, I, just to let you know, I'm not, I haven't scripted this. I haven't written anything, written anything down, which I probably should have. I should have listed and bullet pointed, bullet pointed, you know, some pros and cons, but I didn't. Uh, so all this is top, the top of my head, but that's, that's all I can really think of. I will be doing another version of this. Uh, you know, in the future, to elaborate more, and, and I think that time I'll be able to, uh, I, I really should, I will write down some points, but I mean, this is coming off the top of my head, and that's all you can really think of, is the temperatures dealing with the elements and getting dirty, I mean, other than that, there's a lot more pros that way, the cons, I would say, and so let's move on to the pros. So, pro number one is pay. Now, starting base pay as a laborer, as what I started off as, um, is around twelve fifty an hour. Uh, and you know, in my state, uh, minimum wage right now. Last I knew, I heard it was there was an e increase recently, but as far as I know, um, it's 10.50 an hour. So 12.50 an hour is labor, and then you work your way up to 15 dollars. Uh, you know, at least in my dad's company, um, and you know, it all depends on how much more you know, and you know, if you're trusted to be able to be on the job site by yourself, then you get paid more, obviously as well. Um, considering my father owns his own company, um, and what I love about this is my father owns his own company and I work for him, but he doesn't treat me with special treatment. He makes me work from the ground uh, ground up, and that's that's I respect that. So I just I don't know. I figure I mentioned that to you because I just want to let you guys know that I'm not getting special treatment at all. Uh, you know, I have to earn it, and that's what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, so the pay the pay is amazing. Now an electrician makes a lot more money, but it varies. Now this is very, there's a lot to it obviously because there's different, you could be self-employed, you could be a subcontractor to somebody or you could work for a, a you know, be an employee for a company. Um, but if you're a subcontractor or if you, um, you know, have a father like I do that has his own company or if you have your own business, construction business, uh, then you will make more money than just being an employee. Um, but if I were you, most case scenario would be a, a subcontractor. So you get your own jobs, but you can also contact your friends or maybe in the construction field. Or even you can contact the company and ask them, hey, do you need any help? I'm a subcontractor. Here's my records. Uh, you know, and that's that. But yeah, the pay is great. Um, 
could get paid a lot of money. I can't really get into specifics because I, I mean, I just don't really know. Um, I mean, but I just do know that you can get paid a lot of money, and it varies depending on who's, you know, what what company you're in or who you're working for. So that's the deal. Um, so another pro I would say, without a doubt, is that, and I'm going to compare this to an electrician, is that you practically don't need, you don't need a degree to be a contractor, um, and you don't need to um, put years into trade school just to be in the construction field. Uh, so th what I mean by that is I'm going to be comparing it to an electrician. So an electrician, you have to go for a few years, uh, I believe, to go to school to learn about uh, being an electrician, wire wires and re receptacles and all that stuff. In the construction field, you take an online course, you answer su super simple questions, uh, you learn some of the codes, and I mean, it, it takes a couple of months. And it costs, I believe, at least in my state, it costs about $1,200 to get licensed and then you have to pay for insurance as well because uh, you have to you know, do that for liability reasons. Um, but yeah, I mean, it literally takes next to nothing just to be able to be in the construction field and become a contractor, a subcontractor or to be your own boss. Um, and another thing I would say to add on to that point is that you can literally look around and you can see here, this is all framing. My father built this whole garage uh, with him and his friend, and he framed it. I mean, he obviously had a, uh, you know, to build the foundation, he had one of the lo locals' um, uh, company, small, it's a smaller company, uh, fill in, do the, do that kind of thing, you know, do, pour the concrete and stuff. Other than that, my father built the walls, the, the flooring, and um, built everything here uh, in this office space here. So it's pretty cool. And what's really cool about it is that you can actually literally look at how things are built and you could just jot down notes, memorize it, and try to do it yourself maybe a little bit. And it's just putting together, it's like a puzzle. I and mean, that's part of pretty much all it is. You have to learn codes, obviously. I mean, there's certain spaces when it comes to framing, as, as you can see, there's uh, spaces here. You have, to, you have to know that there's like, a, let's say for an example, you put a stud in. I'm not being literal here, but you have to put a stud in and you have to go eight inches away, and it has to be eight, eight inches to go to code, to meet code, to meet standards. I mean, things like that. And it's very super easy and, and um, you know, to understand and grasp. So that's definitely another pro as well, uh, that it's very easy to get into. So another great pro is actually the skills to, to learn, to actually do, uh, you know, to build. Um, so that, I mean, I mean, with anything, even if you're a plumber or an electrician or, you know, whatever it is, it's super useful and helpful to know the skills to use it on, you know, for work and also on the job, but also for your own use, too. Um, so, you know, if you got a, a, a rot in the wall in one of your walls or something in, in your shed or garage or, or your house, you can immediately know what to do, how to fix it, and obviously do it for a cheaper price. Uh, being able to know and have the skill to, I don't know, to be able to, to fix things and to know how to do things uh, obviously lowers the cost of labor and you're doing it by yourself if you feel up to, up to it. Um, I actually think I'll show you in uh, another video when I do version 2 of this video, uh, when I actually write stuff down, some of the work that actually my father has done by himself and it, it's amazing. Most contractors and construction workers uh, depending what uh, uh, field you're in, whether if you're in commercial or residential, uh, you know they only know how to do maybe one, two, maybe three things. And what I mean by that is either framing, tile, or uh, siding, or they only know how to do. And a lot of people don't even touch tile because it's so delicate. It's it's very. It, I consider tile doing tile is art. Um, you know, because I've done it before, um, and I just consider that. But most people only only know how to do a couple of things. Uh, but I'm very thankful that my father knows every single thing uh, in the construction field. Every single thing. At a price, he knows how to draw a draft. He, he's an architect. I mean, he, he literally, it's funny, he took drafting uh, in, in high school and he uses it today. He never went to college or some, some special school to do it. And he gets paid big money for that as well for himself, along with building too. Um, so acquiring the skills to be able to... Uh, do the things for your personal self is definitely a pro as well because you have that knowledge not to only do it for a client but also for yourself 
And my father knows everything, uh, knows how to do everything. He could build anything that has to do with the house, he knows how to do um, a garage, uh, a commercial state, how to build anything, which is really cool. So I'm trying to learn as much as I can. I'm very fortunate that he knows how to do everything and everything right. So yeah. Now I really feel like that this pro, this next pro, kind of relates to a lot of, of jobs out there. Um, but I will say for the construction field, because we're talking about the construction field today, um, this is definitely a pro. When, when my father hires people for him, it's amazing, the people that I've, I meet, because it's, they have so many good stories uh, and so many life lessons that I've learned from. Um, it, it's just, I can't tell you on the amount of stories that I've learned uh, from these people that my father's hired underneath him. Uh, that, you know, that we would, you know, during lunchtime, we would kind of bond and kind of chat and share our life stories, talk about life and stuff like that. And it's just some of the stories I've, I've kind of g g come to know uh, from all these people that my father has hired. It's just, it's, it's cool. It's cool to talk about. And it's amazing. And, and, and I've learned a lot from the people that, um, that have come to my, you know, working with me and my father uh, and some of his friends as well. I've learned a lot from these people. And so getting that life experience with these people and, and just getting to know what their history was like back in the, you know, before when they were younger, uh, some life lessons they've given me, um, it's helped me out actually quite a bit in, a, in, a, you know, in the long run as well for myself. And um, it's crazy. So being able to, you know, kind of talk to your, your associates and being able to I don't know, just being able to share stories and be kind of close is, is really cool. Um, and I admire that. And you know, we have a fun time working together. Again, it's not it's not always beautiful to be on the construction site um, because there are things that go wrong and sometimes people do get impatient and that's natural. It's, but yeah, that's the deal. So being able to, to, uh, to uh, connect with other associates, other employees, or some contractors, I should say, because my father doesn't hire employees, um, it's just amazing to learn their stories and life lessons they've given me as well. So that's just another benefit as well. So I hope you guys kind of, uh, you know, kind of enjoyed the video. I know it's kind of bland in a sense. And it, actually, I pulled all these things out of my head. Uh, you know, all these thoughts out of my brain. I didn't really write anything down. When I do version 2, I'll probably list some things down to be honest. It wasn't scripted this time. The next time it will be. Um, yeah, so I just, I mean, those are the things I could think off the top of my head. The pros definitely do outweigh the cons. Uh, you know, even if I really think about it a lot, I know it does um, from my experience. And so I hope you brought, found some value in this video. If you do want to get in the construction field, I hope that, you know, for some of you guys, I think about four or five of you guys, I think it was five of you guys, uh, emailed me about, you know, the pros and cons. We just kind of answered your questions that you may have had. Uh, if you have any more questions, leave a comment below or you can email me at xanderclips19 at gmail.com or it's actually in the description below and you'll be able to email me there. Um, I do want to say something really quick. So I am going to be getting back to the weeklies, uh, but I just, because I've only done one episode, um, I've just been very busy with this project that we're working on. It's a very, we've been having tons and tons of signing jobs lately, which is really kind of annoying. Um, but this signing job we're almost done, we're wrapping up, and we're going to move on to a roofing job, and then from there we're going to be going to, which is really exciting, we're going to be going to a uh, multi-million dollar house that we're going to be working on. It's going to be very, very fun, and um, it's, it's just, it's exciting to work on those kind of houses too. Um, I haven't really been recording on the site because of this project, because I, the whole crew has been like literally just working on this project, trying to get it done. Because um, we're behind on schedule because of our uh, our suppliers, you know, the, where we get the material from because of, of the COVID-19 situation that we're all going through, um, you know, cause the way and delivery and stuff. But now we're catching up, and so we just need to focus on that. That's what I've been doing. Um, yeah, so that's just pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really greatly appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay true, stay happy, stay safe, stay motivated. I know I am, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. See you guys later.